Good morning and I hope you well and welcome to today's edition of 600 seconds of trading which is our daily market update that we host here in the live trading room. Today of course we're not doing this live I'm doing this as a recording you can see the time up here is 7 30 a.m in London and not 9 a.m as we usually do it. What we're going to do now in the next 600 seconds is to provide you guys with a quick mark quick market update as we usually do before we start though i need to stress the training financial markets is unfortunately risky it's a generous to lose all of our invested money now for today's uh like top news don't forget to read the morning outlook uh here on tradecaptain.com provides you guys with a nice little summary of what's going on for the major uh markets here uh so don't forget to check that out okay let's uh, move along and we're gonna take a look at the charts okay uh, this is the euro versus the usd and uh, we're looking at a four hour chart the market as you can see is just stuck in this range right and because of that you know there's not too much to do about this market uh, i think in the long run you know the trend is bullish as you can see creating higher and higher lows so you know if we head up to the other side here then that would make perfect sense uh, but for now the market's trading sideways and there's really no point of getting involved here the, the market had a break to the downside yesterday but that didn't last long and now it's back in the middle maybe we we'll go to the other side now which means that people that went short here are going to be stopped out so i personally think this market again trading sideways let's just wait for either bullish breakout or a bearish uh, decline that i think makes the most sense there's obviously people buying at the lows and selling in the middle and short selling at the highs and buying back in the middle. That's possible as well, but um, you know, if you like the kind of stuff, then yeah, do it. For me, it's not really something I, I focus on. Here's Bitcoin. Bitcoin is still in a downtrend. I do know we bounced uh, from these lows. Uh, it's a nice gain of 16%. Um, so yeah, it makes uh, it's, it's, it's good, but we're not out of the woods yet. Around these levels, around this high and this whole section, the market should just roll over and potentially move back to the low and then down to the February low. Take out 9,497 though, this market may have ended its downtrend and we could head to the upside. But for now, we capped by this high, so there's really no point in doing anything here. Here's the price of US oil. Uh, the market is moving to the upside and you know take out 63.24 and we need to get ready to uh, for further gains take out this high I think we can go up to this high here 64.15 and then maybe all the way up to the highs at 66.32 now it's not gonna be easy the market already rallied in the short term so maybe it'll be a false breakout the first day and then a correction but eventually you know take this level out close above it and I think we could head to the upside Here's the price of gold. Uh, it's trading sideways, uh, much like the euro. Uh, people buy down here, and people start to buy from about 1,315, and they have stop losses just below here. As long as we're above this level, this market could go up. So I'm happy to be bullish, uh, but until uh, and, and 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 that's it. You know, bullish above this level, and that's it. Uh, is it a great opportunity? Something that you know I'm longing for? Uh, no. Again, it's a sideways sort of trading price action. Uh, it doesn't have a strong trend, which just makes it more difficult to to work with. Here's the DAX. The DAX, uh, you know, moved up, down, and up and down. And I personally don't think it's going to trade much lower. But technically, the trend is bearish below 12,487. So. I guess you can see it spool back several times. So as long as you're below this level, this market could hit to the downside. Take it out though, and we can go up higher. And that guys concludes this market update. Today at uh, 10 a.m. London time, so in two hours, 23 minutes, we're gonna host a presentation called uh, Four Reasons Why Forex Sentiment Matters. Well, we're gonna look at sentiment and positioning and how we can use that to trade the markets more effectively it's free to sign up you can click on education webinars the alternative just go to my twitter then my twitter 
you're going to be able to find more info uh, about it and sign up at ECS Technical Education webinars. You register here once and you'll have access to the premium section. And then when we do webinars in the premium section, you just click on a button and then you get a message telling you that you got registered oh, for that event. So you only need to register once. When that's done, you're in. Okay, guys, uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter. You can find us down here and on Facebook as well if you use that. Um, Twitter is great because on Twitter you'll see everything we publish. If you want to also keep it even better, you got the mobile app. I have downloaded that myself. We do get notifications from articles that we publish as well. Uh, YouTube is another great thing to follow. Why? Because I do a video, I upload it like this one here. I'm going to add it. And these people that sign up here are going to get a notification when I upload this, uh, which is, again, is 7.37 right now in London. So they're going to be getting this as soon as the video is uploaded. Um, and then, of course, we have some other things here, Instagram as well. But the three top one, I think, are the best ones. Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. If you want to follow me, Alejandro, then go to AlexFX00. So, AlexFX00. Okay, guys, have a good trading day, and most likely I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.